What's up everyone? How you guys doing? Hope you guys had a nice holiday break. I know I enjoyed mine. We got the time to take a little break off, take a little rest, got a lot of sleep. Over the break, I've been seeing a lot of people just post about this movie, Bird Boss, Birds by Bird Boss. So I thought it'd be nice for me to give a review on it. So before I give the review, make sure you all subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button. But um, yeah, so this movie Bird Box, everyone been talking about it lately. It's starring Sandra Bullock, you got a couple people in there like Machine Young Kelly, a guy from uh, Get Out, and a couple other extras and that you might just recognize. So beginning it starts off, it's just like the lady, the main lady, Sandra Bullock uh, character, is pregnant. It's just showing her being pregnant and showing her with this baby and everything, which they really don't explain that much after that. After the kid is born, it's like, it's leading up to this part, this kid is, it's like, it's almost showing like this pregnancy thing is like a big issue, but it really wasn't. It was her falling over, tripping over stuff. Like, it's like her almost fighting to have the baby because she kept on falling, tripping over stuff. But somehow, the baby still came up perfectly fine. But, um, opening scenes coming up. The lady who plays an American Horror Story, she gets killed. It's Sandra Bullock's sister. She gets killed. And it's like, she's just seeing this thing Everyone is killing herself over these things they're seeing. They don't really explain much in this video, in this movie. It's like a lot of stuff that wasn't a scene, but she kills herself from seeing this stuff. So she killed herself, like in a car accident. And then after the car accident happens, she just basically walks in front of a car. And after she walks in front of this car, Sandra Bullock's character is all like, you know, distraught. She's looking out for like where, where she can go next. She's stumbling, she's tripling. She finds um, a house to go to. And people was like, no, no, don't bring her up in here. But then it was like, the one lady was like, no, let her come in here. And then she started seeing these things that make people kill herself, which is really don't, I don't get because it's like, she's the only one who saw these things and she's the only one killing herself. But everybody's picking out the window like, oh no, don't go, don't go. But she somehow be the only one who got killed during this. So it turns out the lady get killed is one of the people who's inside there at the house. It was his wife and he's kind of like, kind of be like the a-hole jerk dude and he's like oh you guys should never let her in which is kind of true because you let her in and then his wife get killed so they're all trapped in this house it's this a-hole dude this dude from uh from get out Sandra Bullock's character and then there's two other people was like machine gun kelly's character oh this asian dude and also um this guy this machine gun or this girl machine gun kelly is pretty much just messing around with so they're all in this house, they're all trying to figure out this stuff. And then after all this stuff happened, it's like, they gotta be like, oh, we gotta get some food. Cover up their eyes, get blindfolded and stuff, and they go out and get some food. Go to the um, supermarket, it's where the dude from um, Get Out, it's his character. That's where he goes out, because he worked at the grocery store. They go there, and in this scene, though, somebody's there is like, hey, remember me? Turns out he's somebody who can see these creatures or whatever but they don't kill themselves when they see it. They don't explain it either. Like this movie shows a lot of stuff that's not being explained. So anyway, the dude from Get Out gets killed. They go back to the supermarket, or come back from the supermarket and they go back home. And then they let somebody else in. Like, they let this girl in for no reason. They didn't know her. And it turns out, you know, she was all cool. She was legit. But later on in the movie, she let someone else in. And then they get killed and stuff it's like, they just jump from zero to a hundred. It's like, why would y'all let this one girl win? And why would y'all tell her, why didn't y'all try to warn her about letting other people win? It's like, this movie just didn't explain nothing. But after all this stuff go down, everyone gets killed. That's when the movie start building in more. It's like, all right, what's gonna happen next? It's like Sandra Bullock character, she's on by herself. It shows her jumping around like, it didn't really show her how she got to the point within five years. It just said five years later, didn't show all the traumas and tribulations she had to go through because of me. It was five years around, she's carrying these babies, like, almost by herself. There's another dude in there, too. Just, them two just surviving five years with two young kids. And then just basically getting to a point where it's like, all right, now we're going to try to make some more moves. So then later on, it's like, this dude, the dude that Sandra Bullock character was it. He just basically sacrificed himself because these people who actually can see, which I don't understand, it's like they can see, they can go out there and see these creatures or go out there and see things without getting to kill themselves. But it's like, if they got enough sense to try to trick people and make people see, how come they don't got enough sense to like, go out and do other stuff? Like they all just crazy trying to kill people. And another thing I didn't get, it's like, 
these people can see and stuff. Do they sense these people who can't, who can't see the monsters and who, are, who gotta wear blindfolds? It's like they just going off basically just hunting these people down. Like, hey, open your eyes, open your eyes. But don't explain that. Like, how do you know where these people is at? They don't got their eyes open. It's like if you're real quiet and they shouldn't know where you at. Like if you just in the home chilling, these people shouldn't just be like, oh, these people is in there. So let's make them open their eyes. It's like a lot of stuff that was not explained during this movie. So after these people go in there, the dude get killed who's like basically Sandra Bullock's boyfriend at the time, and you know, after five years, goes kill him off, and then she's like, oh yeah, let's go to this spot that's down the river, which is basically towards the end of the movie, they go down the river, and they go to the sanctuary where there's blind folks, and it's like, none of the blind folks, of course they can't see, so now they can't see the creatures, which that don't make sense either, it's like, this place was a sanctuary where none of the creatures can go. But it's like, it's like when the creatures would come, when they hear birds, that's where the title comes from, bird bots. Birds would freak out, that's when people would close their eyes, which to me, and it makes sense, it's like, why would you have people in your sanctuary who can be affected by this thing when they can go crazy and kill everybody else too? Like, a lot of this stuff did not make sense in the movie. Overall, I'd say it was a decent movie, something to watch when you just want to chill, relax, and just watch something new, but uh, to me, it'd be better if it was like a movie, or if it was was, it'd be better if it's more of like a TV series. It was just two hours long. It didn't explain nothing in two hours. It was still a decent movie. I'm not gonna get it wrong, but it's like it was so much more that could have been shown. If they make this uh, TV show, something like um, The Walking Dead, but not so The Walking Dead, but just make like a TV show with like one or two seasons, it'd be a good little TV show to watch. It'd be a good little thriller. But as a movie, I think it was just even though it was two hours long, it was too short to. Uh, for what they really want to explain. They probably cut out a lot of scenes that should have explained more, but uh, nothing really was explained. It keeps you wondering. Like, Also, like Machine Guns Kelly, his character, like him and his girl just disappear. Like, everybody's wondering, like, where'd they go? Did they die or what? Like, It doesn't explain a lot of stuff in this movie. It just leaves you wondering. So that's all I gotta say. It's just a short little quick review. That being said, make sure you comment below. Let me know how you felt about this video, how you feel about this uh, movie, I should say. And uh, what you get out of the movie? Was the movie good to you? Did you, do you understand why these people left? <laughs> like, do you understand why certain people can see the creatures, some people can't? I'm not sure, but you guys can comment below, let me know. And uh, share love, spread love. Peace, you guys.